The chilly night at the Woodland Stadium was accompanied by a great Eastern Yo's S League matchup between two high caliber sides. This time it was Woodland's Wellington FC taking on Tanjung Paga United FC. Having won their last four games, including two 5 2 scorelines, the Rams were in unstoppable form. Sitting in fifth position on the table, Woodland's Wellington FC were looking to increase their points tally with a win. Tanjung Paga United FC were also having a very bright season as they sat on the third spot, just five points behind Albrecht's Nigata. It took less than three minutes for the first goal to go in as Tanjung Paga reaped the rewards of the heavy early pressure. A good cross into the penalty box was met by Monsef Zerka as he powered a header into the back of the net, giving the away side the lead. The goal sparked life into the Rams as they attempted to mount an immediate comeback, but start defending from the Tanjong Paga side and unlucky finishing saw the score remain in favour of the away team. The problems kept coming in for the Rams as the second goal was conceded 29 minutes into the first half. A corner set piece expertly put into the penalty area was turned into the net by Kamel Ramdani as the away side ramped up the pressure by opening up a two goal cushion. The Rams still stunned from the two relatively early goals conceded were still finding it hard to click into their game plan as they struggled to break down the Tanjong Paga defence. Chances were created by the Rams but it just lacked the final touch to give them a chance to get back into the game. Tanjong Paga United is proving to be too hot to handle as the third goal was conceded by the Rams at the 37th minute. Once again it was a corner set piece as Monsef Zerka was once again in the right place at the right time powering a header into the back of the net giving the away side a huge advantage in the first half. The second half begins shortly after with the home side three goals behind and eager to try to get a goal which would give them a chance to get something out of the game. Woodlands Wellington came out a completely transformed side as they were the ones now dominating as Tanjo Paga went into a defensive stance. It was an onslaught of attacks from the home side and one could only speculate that they would be the ones to get the first goal in the second half and it was indeed Woodlands who struck first. It was the number 7 star Korean forward Chang Ju Yoon who found the net giving the Rams hope in salvaging something from the game. The furor of attacks did not stop there as Woodlands continued to pile on the pressure. Tanjung Paga United were not completely shut out as they did attempt counter-attacking moves which could have culminated in goals. But it was clear that the dominance was with the Rams. Despite this, the Rams could not find the net as the shots either fell wide of the target or was kept out by the Tanjong Paga goalkeeper. However, they managed to find the net once more but it was deep into the final few minutes of extra time. It was Chang Ju Yun once more as he found an angle to strike the ball past the keeper and into the net, making the score 3-2. Despite coming close to equalising, the Rams could not find the elusive third goal as they stumbled to a defeat at home with Tanjung Paga United taking all three points with a score of 3-2. Very happy about the result, about the win, but very proud about my team, about my player, what they do tonight. They are very concentrated uh, because we know before the game the result of uh, Woodland, the, the last four games, four wins. And uh, Woodland is a very good team. And, uh, but tonight, when we started the game, we are very focused, concentrated, and uh, we, we can score uh, our two, three first chances. It's very good.